Welcome back into the UDL. Good to see our friend, our guy, hooking up with us during legislative session. I know it's a very uh, busy time right now, and it's going to be a busy time for uh, Representative John Stefanski as he is in the UDL here on this Monday, May 10th. Is a lot of people talking about the gambling bills, a lot of people talking about name, image, and likeness, and we'll be able to touch on all that uh, coming up on the next couple of minutes. Good to see you, man. How are yeah, you? Man, yeah, man, good. Are you? Yeah, yeah, all good. Uh, good news for our boy Willie Wade as man, he continues to dominate the recruiting yeah. trail. What about your boy Will, man? Yeah, He's man. cleaning up. Cleaning huh? up. Cleaning up. These, uh, uh, the, these transfer rules are really benefiting LSU. They really are. And uh, it's, it's amazing, you know, and, and that's, you know, look, you can't win without talent. And the guy knows talent. He knows how to get talent. And we're, we're seeing that. He's revamped a roster that, I mean, look, our roster last year, okay, maybe you can argue that the end results weren't as good as most people were expecting, but the talent on that team was unbelievable. Yeah. And, and here he comes again, yeah. you know. He's snatching people left and right. You know what? <laughs> he probably gives other coaches nightmares. Like, oh, watch for out. Sure. Does that not just give credence to what, like, why Roy Williams left? He's like, he's looking at this and going, Jesus Christ, I can't keep up. Like, like you said, y'all were with Willie, and he's like working the phone. It's like it never stops. Well, dude. I, I think that's that's what what Roy Williams was looking at. Yeah, was I, the I can't of, keep up. I mean, I could have my 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 best player cherry picked off my roster. I mean, like Adam Miller at Illinois. I, you, you think about where he was. I mean, he was sitting behind. He was a freshman. He was sitting behind two guys that were superstars last year. He played a lot of minutes. Was really ready to become the face of the program. And now he's in the transfer portal. I think you know you just the the the, the timidness of this sport and just being able to to retain your roster. You met him over the last couple of weeks. What what do you think? I mean, both of you guys have that that driven quality to you where you want to be great. And, and it was fun to watch you guys and just and talking <laughs> across. Some bread, breaking bread together. What, what do you think makes him so good? Yeah, look, I, obviously I've been a big fan for a long time. You know, I was, I've was i been an LSU basketball fan since I was little, uh, from the Shaq days, kind of like you. And uh, when Will came to LSU, I, I, you could tell it was different. He, The way he spoke about the program, the way he attacks recruiting. Um, I've been impressed and just been a big fan for a long time. So that was very cool for me, first yeah. off. And then, you know, uh, kind of like you mentioned it earlier, he, I think Will would probably do well in just about everything he did. You can tell his personality, the way he's driven. Uh, I hope he doesn't run for politics soon, <laughs> or at least I hope, he, I hope he doesn't move to Crowley and run against me because uh, I, I probably wouldn't win that race. I don't know, man. Maybe the only man in the state that could be Willie Wade head up right now is Dude, Stefanski. Alpha be Alpha, dude. But <laughs> get in the uh, ring. A huge day for you right? yeah Coming no this up. is this is a big day you know obviously that's that that's why uh thanks for thanks oh, for having me on anytime. absolutely because uh it's an important day there's been a lot that that's come in today today's finally the day that will bring in my uh, sports betting bill on the floor so it'll be voted on by uh, hopefully 105 people will be there today the more people the better because uh i have the tax and the fee bill and then the lottery portion of the bill those three portions and those three portions require a two-thirds vote under our constitution so I want as many people in the seats as possible. Um, we, we've worked really hard to mold this bill into what it will be. You know, there were a lot of ideas. You know, I spoke the first time I was on, I was, I was talking about what's it going to be. You know, is it going to be mobile? Is it going to be this kiosk idea? Is it going to be just in the casinos? And we finally settled on, and what I hope the, the members of the legislature will join me on is full mobile, mm -hmm. so you're able to play on your phone. I think that's very, very important. Uh, but that's the second, crucial, isn't it? Oh, it is. Yeah, I mean, it's crucial, right? It, number one, let, let's just talk about the fans. Let's talk about people who want to do it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we want it convenient. You don't want to necessarily have to go drive to La Berge to go do or to drive to one of these other casinos. I mean, you will, I think, if you have to, but it, it shouldn't be that hard. And then secondly, you know, we really, really worked hard. We heard from the bar owners. We heard from restaurant owners. A way for locals to be able to participate. And that's where this lottery aspect comes in. The lottery will have the retail option to put one of these kiosks in your local bar and in your local restaurant, which, look, I don't think the bulk of the money is going to come from that, but if, if we're going to make this legal in Louisiana, we were really concentrating on finding a way for our locals to participate, your retail to participate. They've been hammered. You know, uh -huh. with COVID, uh, bars took it in the teeth. And so mm -hmm. if you can create a new revenue source for them and also just an incentive for people to come into the bar, um, I think that's big, and so that's that was important to us as well. We finally settled on our tax rate, which there was a lot yes. of, as you can imagine, right. the team of lobbyists that they employed <laughs> to come uh, to come after me. Uh, they they thought our initial rate was a little high, and and this is important. Um, 
that y'all don't pay that. So if you're going to participate in sports betting, you're going to go place a bet. The user is not paying that. Okay, that is paid on the net gaming proceeds of the company that's running it. So your your um, the like casino. Fanduil. FanDuel, DraftKings, okay. those who's ever going to run it or the actual casino is the one paying that taxes. And Y'all then they have to pay me when I win my bet. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Perfect. But think about it. So there's the amount that people bet and then the amount uh, that they have to pay out. And then that's your net gaming the juice. proceeds. And that is what actually gets taxed. That's the company's profit. And so, um, but it, look, it, it was important that we, we came on a number that was fair. And, and uh, eventually what we settled on is a 10% if you actually go into the casino or the retail establishment. And then 15% if you if it's money derived from your phone. Mm. Thought that was fair. Also thought it was important that we have a split rate so that it, it hopefully incentivizes the company to give you a better benefit when you go into the casino. Maybe that's promotions. Maybe that's a maybe a tweak on a, a special bet, that special prop bet. Just Little boost. Going. Yeah, you know, and 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 then the same thing for for if one of the kiosks. It's ten percent if you actually bet at the kiosk, fifteen percent if you bet on your phone through the lottery. So hopefully this this um, this whole structure makes it through the process. I'm excited for today. Uh, you know, I'd ask if if you if if it's something that you want to see happen. You know, one of your listeners. Make sure send a, send a quick email out to your representative. Uh, send a text if you if you're lucky enough to have their cell phone number to your senator or your rep or primarily your rep today and and ask them to vote for my bill today and ask them to support it. So in, as far as the lifeline of the bill is concerned, today is kind of like the opening day. Today is kind of the, absolutely like yeah. historically, it's been much harder to get two thirds vote in the House than the Senate. Mm-hmm. It's just kind of been the way it always is, and and also with the Senate president carrying that other bill, which has to pass as well on the Senate side. He's actually holding his bill. He's he made a statement in committee the other day. He said, "I'm waiting on Stefanski's bill. Uh, y'all make sure y'all get Stefanski's out, or I'm not moving mine." Wow. And so, so this uh, is an enormous day. Yeah, it's a big day, and and it, and there's a there's a ton of work that's going into this. Uh, this is this has been um, this is one of the bills that is that's taken up the majority of my time for the past couple of months. So. Game day for you. Yeah, it is, man. That's why I'm in the purple. purple. You know? Let's, Let's go. go. go Got the game day shirt on. I'm, yes. I'm ready to go. Not uh, nervous yeah, to lick this no. guy. Well, I mean, he's prepared. <laughs> yes. Jeff guess. Marson says inside of the uh, inside of the bunker. If only all politicians were as common sense as direct as Stef- as uh, Stefanski. Amen. Um, but that's what it's about. Let me touch. I mean, it yep. is that. That's what it's about. You know, the, a lot of people want sports betting to pass because it's more money for the state. That's not really my motivation. My motivation is is literally, you know, citizens, the ones that elected you, the people that are that are chiming in, just going. Hey, I don't care what it looks like because most people don't. They don't care what the tax rate is. They don't really care. I mean, they care that they can play sure. on their phone. That's a big deal. But the majority of the, of the uh, specifics, they really don't care about. They're just saying make it happen. A lot of people care up at LSU and around universities. Uh, what happens with name, image, and likeness with with what you guys and and what you ladies are doing up on Capitol Hill. Uh, with this bill, where is where's the discussion on that? I, we've seen other states rule on it and talk about it. Where is Louisiana? Absolutely. So uh, Senator Connick actually has that bill, and it actually has already made it out of the Senate committee, and so it's pending Senate floor. And, you know, he filed it last year, so he's he's been one of those ones who's been looking at this issue and trying to push it. Of course, we had COVID last year, so a lot of things got shelved. But, uh, I, look, I, I've read the bill. It, it, it makes a lot of sense. Um, I know you spoke earlier about some other states where they, they tie it to where the, the, the university has to get so much of the revenue and that kind of stuff. That's not the way I read our bill. Our bill is purely tailored for the athlete, which I think is the way it's supposed to be. Um, and then it, but it, it, of course, has some, it has some protections for both the student athlete. They have to do some, they have to, the school has to offer a training for them, uh-huh. a financial training to where they understand kind of the ramifications of what they're doing. Um, I think it's got a really good shot, you know, which, which is funny. I, I also got a chance uh, to meet our new women's coach, yeah. uh, uh, Coach Mulkey, and she was, man, talk about impressive. <laughs> right. uh, she spoke to the whole house, uh, got up there to where, you know, and, and addressed us all. And I was super impressed with her. That's another one I hope I never have to run against. Cause she, uh, <laughs> she, she, you may she not did. be able to beat her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was, she was impressive. Yeah. And, and I've never seen a a guest do this, especially an an athletics coach. You know, because we've had, I mean, Alvin Gentry has spoke to us before. We've had other coaches come and speak to us, but she was the first one who got up there and talked about that bill, the Senate bill, wow. and said how important name, image, and likeness was, and that it should pass. And was emphatic on us to make sure we passed that because Louisiana wow. needed it. But not only for that, it was the right thing to do for the athletes and and really spoke from the athletes' perspective. And so 
impressed with her. And also, man, she gave a good pitch. So I think I, I might have to replay Unanimous that. Unanimous yays there. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. I might have to play that for a couple of my colleagues when that bill comes over to the house wow. to remind them yeah. uh, that that is a big deal. And so, look, I think it has a good shot. And not only that, let's just talk about Louisiana and our sports. I think we need it to stay competitive. I think if all these other states are moving forward with it, um, we're going to get left behind if we don't have something like that as well. Of course, we have to see what the NCAA is going to do. We, and, and, yeah. and, you know, I can I, – there were a lot of – when I was reading the comments, especially from the other senators, there were a lot of what if this happens or what if that happens. And that's true. There are – you could fall down that rabbit hole on some negative stuff and, and how it's used for recruiting. But at the end of the day, just think about if – you know, and none of us were – I wasn't a college athlete. I think, you know – if you were a college athlete, think about um, you in that position. Yeah. And and P, there's an opportunity at 18, you're an adult, you could earn extra money, you're in school, um, and they can't profit off of that. And, and, and it's different, but it's not. You know, it goes to a, down, down to a basic, you know, just free market kind of system. Um, before we move on to our last subject, what about Malky visiting? And, and how powerful is that? Like, I mean, do you are, are you surprised you don't see more of that? from state coaches coming into the legislature, not asking for things, but just showing their presence, which has a, a big effect on all of you. No, it has a huge effect. And, and you know, look, we, we don't control these universities, but we control sure. the budget, right. you know, especially the public ones. And, and so um, it was it was great for me to meet her. You know, of course, being an LSU fan, I was going to, you know, I was going to love what she was saying anyway. But, but I thought it was important for me, my colleagues as well. They were all very impressed with her. Um, and I've told that to other coaches, you know, c come, come pop in, even if it's just for a few minutes, I think it, it pays dividends. Um, but it, but it helps, you know, it helps us as decision makers really understand where these people are coming from. Yeah. And so, no, I thought it was big and, and, uh, look, she gave the whole Louisiana thing about coming home. It was, it, it was good. You yeah. know, she was, she's fantastic, she was extremely bro. talk about impressive. being prepared. I mean, oh, she's yeah. powerful. Yeah, yeah. She, she hit the nail on the head though. She did really did a good job. Um, okay. And then, uh, marijuana, I know that's, we, we've talked to you about marijuana over the past couple of uh, times that you've stopped in and it seems like Louisiana is trending in the direction of of getting some type of medicinal. I know that they're medicinally there, um, but but not from a flower standpoint. Where are we on, on, yeah. on this issue? So a couple big bills, you know, number one, the flower. So we, we do have medicinal marijuana uh, here in Louisiana, but you don't have the smokable form. Right. They, they, you basically can get a little pod with the, the liquid. Um, but there was a lot of pushback a couple years ago when we tried to pass the, the smoking form. This year, we passed it out of the House. It's on its way to the Senate. So that's a big step forward um, for a couple reasons. Number one, when, when people think about marijuana, if you want to use it for medicinal purposes, you typically think of it as a, in the smokable form. And, and so I think it just kind of made sense. If you're going to have it, you should be able to have it in whatever avenue somebody wants to use it. Sure. Now, but recreational. So this is the first time, I think, in the history of Louisiana, a recreational marijuana bill has made it out of House committee. Wow. Yeah, or Senate committee. And so that's that's big. It gave it made really a lot of people kind of pause. I didn't think, me personally, I didn't think I'd have to make a decision on whether or not that was something that was right for my district uh, at this stage. And, and you know what? What's tough about representatives, I'm one of 105, and I represent an area that's very conservative, um, it, you know, from Crowley and in that Acadiana area. And, you know, we it's in the name. I'm a representative of my district, and yep. they sent me here to do what they, you know, really to represent them and their ideals. And, and I've been polling this issue in my district. I've been talking to as many people as I can when I'm home, and I'm not home that much. And I was home over the weekend. I literally was grabbing people as I was at the grocery store and other places and asking them what they thought. And, look, the Baton Rouge opinion of it and maybe the John Stefanski personal opinion of it is very different than my district is. Wow. And and also, you know, very, very district than New, different than, like, a New Orleans. You know, right. it's extremely positive over there. So, Oh, I think it may come up for vote today. I have a, I have a big decision to make, you know. Um, but in these times, I really do. I try to go back to, to my district, and and I and I try to vote my district. And and it's it, it's it's not as popular in those smaller areas as it is in the big cities. And you know what else gives me pause? A lot of people are talking about we need to pass marijuana just for the money. And I and I think there's a lot of money to be made from the state's perspective on that because it would be very popular if it was if it was passed. But what we've seen in other states is first it's legalized, and then the next thing they start moving on is, well, you should be able to grow some for your personal consumption. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you move into the personal consumption growth, 
the tax revenue plummets because everybody goes, well, if I'm that avid of a user, I'm just going to start growing at my house. Yeah. yeah. And so I don't think that's the right motivation. I think it is the citizens and, and should, you know, is this something that should be legal? And it should be as simple as that. The, the money is a, is a secondary thing that I don't think should be your primary concern. Uh, one of the things that I learned in my, my one year lobbying uh, out of college <laughs> was that all of these, these discussions and votes are open to the public to come view. And, and it was something that I, I would sit there and watch people file in on something that they were passionate about and think to myself, wow, it's so accessible up here. Um, I, I want to come watch the, the bill today. What time yeah, is, there, is, watch, there, is there a time roundabout that you think that that will be on the floor? So we go on the floor at 2. Okay. I, I'm not sure where they have my bill scheduled, um, but I, you know, I would expect anywhere from probably that 3 to 4 range, 4 p.m., 3 nice. to 5. We'll take that bill up. Um, again, like I said, it's a two-thirds vote. I've been... I've been working other members and talking with them and, and trying to make sure there's no concerns, trying to make sure they understand what the bill does um, and, and all those elements be, because it, it's complicated. I think I have a, I'm going to propose a set of amendments as soon as we go on the floor. I believe the set of amendments are something like 16 pages. Oh, wow. So it's a, it's a complicated bill that's taken up a lot of my time. But, yeah, I encourage anybody who's interested in that, come watch. It's pretty cool. We have this whole yeah. viewing area up at the top. You can see everything. And if it we're still kind of in this weird COVID restriction stuff, so we we don't allow as much access as we did before. Hopefully we'll get back to that soon because I still don't think they let people sit on the side of the rail anymore. But, um, yeah, man, come watch. Yeah, I'll be, be there, cool. Uh, hopefully we get this passed and, and we'll move it on to the Senate and, and sports betting can, can be a reality. It's, it's, it's one of those things. I, I haven't gotten a lot of pushback. Yeah. I just There's nine parishes that didn't pass it. So if you're a representative of one of those parishes, that's kind of a tough vote for you. If your parish didn't pass it, or should you vote for it? And then there's just some people, it doesn't matter what the tax is, what the fee is, they vote no on every single fee, every single tax, no matter what it is, no uh -huh. matter what it does. But again, I go back to it. I, this is, to me, this is an easy vote because the people who are using this aren't paying the tax. Right. You know, it's the, it's the companies that are paying it. And, and if you're going to legalize this, we need to make sure that it's regulated. And that money really goes to make sure that the, it is regulated because the last thing you want is when you place a bet, not to have full confidence that 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 line is what it is, and also that you're going to get paid at the end of the day. If you're going to risk your money, you want to make sure that that whole system is secure. And so, um, you know, hopefully everybody supports it. Again, I tell you, listeners, if if it's something that's important to you, it's so easy. You can go on our website, legislat.la.gov, click on House, click on Find Your Member, and you can you can find who your individual House member is. Shoot them an email, ask them to support my bill. I believe it's six ninety seven. The number has changed, so but I believe it's six ninety seven House Bill six ninety seven, uh, or just tell them to support Stefanski's bill. Nothing yeah. wrong with that. You know. Absolutely, <laughs> the man, Representative John Stefanski, a uh, a bright and shining star in Louisiana politics, within uh, making sure that uh, is be we're being represented as a hey, state. I know there. you got Will coming on yeah. later, man. Yeah. LSU, look again. Like I said, I don't make those decisions. They, they better lock you boy up because <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there we go. I'm telling you, I think I think the rest of college basketball, if they haven't taken notice, they should be. They absolutely um, are. I said, guard I said guard it on your Friday. recruits because he's coming after him. I said it on Friday, man. If, if you don't extend and lock him up and then everything, you know, finally when the NCAA does rule that they don't have anything and there's nothing on LSU basketball and, and he's kind of out there waving in the wind and somebody asks to sit down and talk to his agent, next thing you know, you're negotiating against somebody or overnight he's gone. So I, I'm with you. And yeah, and look, it took man. me. It took me probably five minutes of meeting the dude. To, yeah. He's the real deal. He Absolutely. is, man. And and yeah, I, again, I go back to. I think he'd be successful in whatever he does. But luckily, LSU has him in in this great position, and and we need to make sure he stays there for a while because I'm a I'm a Will Wade fan. So I'll go on the record on saying that. Our guy. We are huge fans of Representative John Stefanski. Uh, possibly the next Attorney General. Possibly the next Governor down. Possibly the, line. the next President the of the United <laughs> States of America. <laughs> let's, let's start with sports betting. Let's get <laughs> <laughs> That's right. See you at 3 o'clock, bro. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, man. Absolutely. This uh, representative here will be back with uh, the Jordy Collada Show. We'll wait eight minutes from now here as we will talk about the success in the recruiting trail for the Tigers.